My mother's illness came on suddenly and without warning. One day she was the vibrant, independent woman I had always known, and the next she was confined to a hospital bed, her body ravaged by a rare and aggressive form of cancer. The doctor's prognosis was grim, and I found myself reeling, struggling to process this devastating turn of events. In the midst of my overwhelming grief and confusion, I turned to the one constant in my life, my chanting practice. For years, I had been a devoted practitioner of Nichiren Buddhism, finding solace and guidance in the teachings of Nichiren Daishonin and the rhythmic cadence of Nam Myoho Rengikyo. Now, more than ever, I needed the strength and resilience that this practice had cultivated within me. As I sat by my mother's bedside, chanting softly to myself, the words of Nichiren Daishonin resonated deeply. Whether walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, you must never stop chanting Nam Myoho Rengekyo. These teachings became a lifeline for me, reminding me to remain steadfast in my practice even in the face of unimaginable grief and suffering. Through my chanting, I found the courage to confront the reality of my mother's condition with unwavering clarity and presence. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life, and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. These words resonated deeply, helping me to accept the pain of the present moment without becoming consumed by it. In the weeks and months that followed, my chanting practice became a source of strength and resilience that sustained me through even the darkest of times. As my mother's condition deteriorated, I found solace in the teachings of Nichiren scholar Nikko Shonen, who wrote, The Buddha's enlightenment is not something special or different from our own lives. This understanding helped me to recognize that the path to inner peace and clarity was not separate from my own existence, but rather an inherent part of it. Through my chanting, I was able to remain grounded and present for my mother in a way that I might not have been able to otherwise. I found myself embracing each precious moment with her, cherishing the simple acts of holding her hand, sharing stories, and expressing our love for one another. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Winter always turns to spring. These words became a mantra for me, reminding me that even in the darkest of times, the potential for renewal and rebirth was ever-present. As my mother's condition worsened, I drew strength from the teachings of Nichiren Buddhism, which emphasized the importance of cultivating a resilient mindset. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Regard yourself as a lion, a powerful presence to be reckoned with. These words helped me to recognize my own inner fortitude, enabling me to confront the challenges before me with courage and determination. Throughout this difficult period, I found myself turning to the writings of Nichiren Daishonin and other influential Nichiren Buddhist scholars for guidance and inspiration. One passage from Nichiren Daishonin's writings struck me with particular force. The purpose of Buddhism is to enable all people to attain the life state of Buddhahood. This understanding helped me to approach my mother's illness and eventual passing not as a tragedy, but as an opportunity for personal growth and transformation. Through my chanting practice, I was able to cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the precious nature of my mother's life and the profound bond we shared. As the renowned Nichiren scholar Nichiko Shonen wrote, We must strive to free ourselves from the illusion of separateness and embrace the inherent oneness of all existence. This understanding helped me to recognize that, even in the face of loss, our connection was not severed, but rather deepened through a shared experience of growth and transformation. As my mother's final days approached, I found myself drawing ever closer to her, cherishing each moment and committing her lessons and wisdom to memory. Through my chanting practice, I was able to remain present and engaged, offering her the comfort and support she needed in her most vulnerable moments. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, the heart of the Buddha's lifetime is the heart of all living beings. This understanding helped me to recognize the inherent dignity and worth present in my mother's life, even as she faced her mortality. When the time finally came to say goodbye, I found myself filled with a profound sense of peace and acceptance. 
While the grief was overwhelming, my chanting practice had provided me with the strength and resilience to confront this loss with clarity and purpose. As Nico Shonen wrote, no matter what happens to us in life, we must advance. These words became a mantra for me, reminding me that even in the face of unimaginable loss, the path forward was one of growth and transformation. In the months and years that followed my mother's passing, I found myself drawing ever deeper into the study and practice of Nishiren Buddhism. Through my chanting and the guidance of the teachings, I was able to navigate the complex emotions of grief and loss, emerging with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Today, I approach each day with a profound sense of gratitude for the precious nature of life and a deep appreciation for the transformative power of Nichiren Buddhism. As I reflect on my journey, I am reminded of the words of Nichiren Dai Shonin. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the greatest of all the Buddhist sutras. It is the teaching that enables all living beings to attain Buddhahood. Indeed, this practice has been the catalyst for profound personal growth and resilience, guiding me through even the most challenging of experiences. While the loss of my mother will always be a source of sorrow, my chanting practice has provided me with the strength and clarity to embrace her memory with grace and dignity. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, the heart runs the same as the mystic law. Therefore, illness can be dispelled by the Dai Moku. Through the power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I have been able to navigate the complex emotions of grief and loss, emerging with a renewed sense of purpose and determination.